Top ranking NOPD officers showed support for a group of bystanders who stepped in when an officer needed it most. The officer was attacked while answering a shoplifting call on Chef Highway. NOPD says the violent situation could have escalated had it not been for the men. Lily Cummings was on this story before tonight's breaking news. Very busy tonight. Mm -hmm. and shows us why some community members say the altercation bridged a gap. All of these officers are here to honor you. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for taking yes. care uh, right. of our officer. Van Rankins was hailed a hero by the leader of the NOPD. I wanted to give you my special coin. I do not hand this out to just anybody. Chief Ann Kirkpatrick gave Rankins a small token for a big act. It involved an NOPD officer and an alleged shoplifter at this convenience store on Chef Highway. Security video obtained by WWL Louisiana shows 41-year-old Lamont Mathis entering a storage room Saturday afternoon. He takes a bottle of liquor off the shelf. The store owner confronted Mathis and took the liquor away. That's when things escalated. And they said he's going to come and shoot all of us. Then everybody panicked and they ran. Oh, he have a gun, he have a gun, he have a gun. I said, okay, let me call the police. Video shows the responding officer using his taser to subdue the suspect who tried to leave. According to the NOPD, he resisted arrest and physically attacked the officer. Court documents show the officer said he was thrown to the ground by Mathis, who repeatedly punched him in the head and tried to strangle him. Rankins and other bystanders stepped in to help the officer. You can hear them pleading with Mathis on a video that's circulating on TikTok. Let the police go, man. Let him go, bro. Let him go, man. No, let him go, man. Let him go. That's you. Wait, hold up. Hold up. That's you. That's you, please. Soon after, additional officers arrived and arrested Mathis. We didn't want him to hurt the officer, and we didn't want the officer to hurt him. So, I, you know, I told the rest of them, y'all come help me, you know, so nobody won't get hurt. You know, so that's all what took place. You know, we weren't trying to look, we're looking for no violence. We're trying to seize all the violence as it is. So I thank God everything went all right. The officer was treated for minor injuries and was released. The officer is still resting. He's doing well. He's taking his time healing up. And we want to make sure that he does that before he comes back to work. Meantime, officers and community leaders coordinated a show of support for the men who intervened. He put his life on the line to do what he did that particular instance. And we're not, we're not advocating for people in the city to do nothing of that nature. It's just that it's done. sometime when you really know people in your community, you know how far you can go. Rankin says he was familiar with Mathis. He didn't really mean no harm because he wasn't in the right state of mind. But Rankin's knew in his, the best outcome is no lives lost. In New Orleans East, Lily Cummings, WWL Louisiana. Mathis remains in the Orleans Justice Center facing a list of charges, including battery of a police officer and resisting a police officer with force.